all getting moved around, these young guns moving in, and Jerry is now in a spot where he's 2-0 and oh up with wow. a chance to make it to the Legend stage at the Major. It's a very cool storyline for Fours. And we're getting into Nuke right away. No time to wait around here. Yeah. Vitality with a T-side start. Maniac was surprised that this one came through. Let's see if there's reason for that. I have so many things to say, but all of them will have to hold, Harry. We've got a pistol round right ahead of us as we get into a ramp rush. It's a bit of util in the top site, but the double ramp setup is there. Norby gets the bomb out in the open, and that allows Forza to flood in. Everyone playing this position, but Shalfi outside, and oh, I don't know how, Astro uh, how Vitality, rather, are going to get back into this position and get the bomb. Norby's still tucked. Jerry's playing with his food. Zorty's been dinked. But still, Vitality can't get their foot in the door. Ajis does manage to finish off one kill, but the smoke has landed, and it's not a great one, I'll admit that. Apex is still forcing fights. Jerry out in the open, fighting for his life and for the round, and he might just take it all down. Him and Norvi, another kill apiece, and Dupree. The 1v3, looking done, looking dusted. It's Forza with a pistol. But yeah, good start for Fours, man. And I will say, you know, you can't underestimate that guy in the middle right there on Nuke. Uh, we've had some naughty moments out of him. I think it was back in 2020. He got this incredible Glock clutch as well, if I do remember rightly. Yep. I want to say it was an ace, but maybe it was four. Uh, he's he's very, very proficient here, both as an individual and as a leader. Yeah. Let's look on the other side of things, though, Hugo, because I imagine you have something you want to say about Vitality. I, I don't think they need much introduction. No, right? That's of kind of the thing, I, right? I, you know, <laughs> of course, I just almost called this team Astralis, uh, mainly because we just covered Astralis, but also because there's still some familiar Danish faces. We even saw Apex yesterday. He was screaming at Astralis in Danish. It's good that the boys taught him some uh, some. Useful words. I actually saw them in the uh, in yeah. the cafeteria here. Oh, okay. And uh, Apex have uh, they, French to Danish they, they were translation. Teaching, they were teaching Dupree how to say certain. Well, actually, he just said it on his own volition yeah. in French, and Goals. then they kind of just like neatened it up a bit, made nice. it a bit prettier. Nice. So yeah, you know, you do have that kind of. That's cool. You know, they're all learning from each other, all yeah. learning a language. No, this, this, I mean, this roster needs no introduction, right? Super cool to see them actually performing after a bit of a shaky, you know, few months since their formation. Yeah. You know, players and other people saying, like we always say, oh, these rosters need time. And that, that it, for some teams, it can be a caveat. You give them time, nothing happens. I think for a team like this, it was it was a matter of a when, not if, that they were going to be performing at a tier yeah. one level. And no better place to perform than the major. Look, I love the Forza 3-0. I think that's a great story. I think this would be awesome for them to prove themselves against a tier one team after getting fairly easy draws so far. I even have them as my three or my pick em. I'll be objective there. I'm, I'm a Jerry fan, but at the same time, it would be great to see Vitality just storm through this stage mm. and look like the team that we expect them to be. I like that you use that little pick em tie-in as like uh, a thinly veiled attempt of showing your, your transparency and, and impartiality, yeah. but really it was just a little flex for everyone, which was quite nice. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, I haven't won yet. For uh, what? Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's done. for for Vitality, dude. Something I think that's kind of helped them along the way was they came out early on. They said there's going to be a lot to work on here. There's going to be a lot of stylistic clashes. We're all having a car in a different language. You know, like it is. It is a very big uphill battle. And they said from the offset, it's going to take time before the results are there. And I think their transparency, especially from guys like Apex and in interviews that have followed, uh, has shed a lot of light on some of the the internal kind of things that are going on with meshing together the Danish style of Counter-Strike with the French style. So I think that's kind of helped people give them a yeah. little more leeway, even though all of us just expected, oh, you're putting Magic Dupree alongside Zaiwu and, you know, Apex as an IGL, Masuta is this uh, talented, you know, I don't even feel fair to call him a young gun anymore with how long he's been here, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay, he's always yeah. going to just nail Apex up on top of Silo. And, you know, this is just an anti-eco round, so it's yeah. meant to be clean. Um, you know, for that, I just want to go back to that 3-0, that 3 fours a pick, you know, because I may as well flex well, okay. I've got it before they've lost. Um, not that they ever would. You know, that, give, it, give it a little shout out to Hawker, of course, who, uh, who managed to sell me Forza coin and uh, go for that 3 pick. So if he's watching, I'm sure he is, supporting Jerry and the boys. Shout out Hawker one time. But one thing that we can expect from Forza in this CT side is Zorty. And I'm going to say this, you're going to be shocked on an auto sniper, on a SCAR-20. Yes, I hope he, he does like that. In 2022, oh, oh, oh. it is his second most used weapon on this map, on the CT side. 
second of the orb, of course. The scout's coming in as well. He gets more auto kills than he does AK on this map, which is pretty ridiculous. But not only is it good for, you know, shooting through walls, shooting through smokes at ramp, at outside, coming up through heaven. We've seen him decimate a lot of teams with this yeah. gun. So, you know, whether he'll use it against Vitality, we'll have to see. It's something they'll surely Dude, be aware I mean, of. Even for spamming the wall in trophy, yeah. it's like, it's just ludicrously good at that. Like, you know, it, yeah. it, it, one bullet sailing through can do like four damage to someone in lobby and uh, you know it just makes life easier down the line yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting you don't really see a lot of auto sniper usage and the fact that this team has a map where it is a, a token fe uh, feature of their ct side is pretty interesting we're gonna have this scout outside now and ak is in play for vitality looking like they want to try and hit ramp even though Kenzie's here, as he swings nice. with the molly to go for that info play, Zaiwoo's going to find him. Spams won't do as much with the scout. They'll make it down B. Bonus round. Forza can, uh, you know, try and throw themselves into this one, but nice grouping for Vitality. They just pummel the doorway. But just lurking late outside, catches Shelfie on a rotate, even picking Zorti out of CT spawn as well. But just is on a tear, and it's three kills to close the round for Vitality. No rotates allowed to that B bomb site, and very decisive. They get the ramp pick. I mean, obviously, a ramp player is not <laughs> hoping to not fall that quickly, right? You want to at least get your util out or go one for one, or just drop down into B in a five on five and play that lower site. Forza very experienced nuke team are going to have good rotations in place but Kenzie gets caught jiggling and Vitality know they have a gap there they just explode so into another rifle round we have the orb now for Zorti smokes outside just to fake that they're crossing secret they're not that's not the case but Vitality are about to realize that and clear it themselves they use the smoke to their advantage they make it all the way down with multiple players Orp is ready for it though and Zorti looking for two he'll do in Masuta as Iwu doesn't want to try Dupree's walk down A there's a bit of a gap here Hup Roof player watching Mini oh my god turning around just in time is Norvi Saving this one from getting weird, even though Vitality have Hellwrap control, Forza are aware. Yeah, you might have denied, denied the lower play. And I mean, now, you know, the options start to be pretty limited for Vitality. Shalfi's here, should be good for one, and there it is. Even makes it the double. Zaiwu attempts the trade and meets his maker on the other end of that famous. So Forza up three to one. They immediately reply. Now, there is still money for Vitality to give it another go here. They're repelled from outside. Zorty's hitting the ground running to open this one up. That's a real treat. You know, when he first came in, it was kind of surprising because you had Z-Power in this squad that we certainly spoke about earlier, right? Z-Power was a terrifying CT orper. And it's weird to put it like that, but T-Sides, he would fall off. Still, it felt like with how good he was on CT sides, it was reason enough to keep him around. Decision was made, however, to bring in Zorti, and we thought he had big boots to fill, but it does just look like a flat upgrade since that happened. That is the craziest part, right? Like you, I, I love how you introed this game where you talked about how Forza could, you know, Jerry could make any team look incredible. Oh, wait, let me hold this point. Dupree's been mollied out. He's got a smoke here. Thank goodness he does, staying alive. Door push does come through. I have seen it. Jerry sidelined in the squeaky. Zorti fires off the orb. They know it's near. And they won't repeat that door side. Five on four. Kenzie close ramp. Flash setup ready. But these T's are not far from the lobby. If they hear that flash, they should know what that means. And it's not like he's being quiet about it. Far steps inside of Trophy. Smokes outside now for Vitality. Wide wants to try and cross down towards Secret. Over the top, though, Zorty's hungry. He saw him. He really wants that fight, man, but Apex just going to dodge it. Knows that AWP is lusting for the equalizer outside. And so Vitality, they might have thrown these smokes in, but only one man is looking to use them. They have faded. <laughs> As Magis was walking across, luckily enough, no one was there to punish that. This is the one gap, but the AWP is still here. Shuffle man donning it low on health, but he's dead. Kenzie holds the line with a double. Maybe that entices Fours to give this round a go. Sorty and Norvi a long way away from this B bomb site, having to rotate in and take ramp away. A lot of it's going to be hinging on this fight between Apex and Zorty on the ramp side. He moves in. Apex with the swing has given that one over. And suddenly, Fours have given a reason to want to attempt this one. 
Thought he might be low. And so Norvi's going to face the ball for the pressure. Door swings. He wins that fight. Zai Wu on the receiving end. Now Magisk, he snuck down with the smokes outside, waiting at the double doors. It was set up for him to win the round if needed. And it is needed. He needs to step up. They've tapped the bomb. They know where he is now. And this time Norby's sticking it. He's looking oh. for a fight, but Zorty's going to catch him through the smoke. And so it's Fours winning that one out in the two on three. They pull up and they put a fourth round on the board. This team is really here to play today, aren't they? They are They are ready to, to shout down everyone who, you know, just put them down to the games they were playing. BNE, Renegade, certainly not favorites in that matchup, but Forza coming up against the big dogs and putting up one hell of a show. Couldn't see Majisk shooting off of the tracers that Majisk fires, and that bomb was perfect for him as well. But what a clutch, what a turnaround for Forza in what was a 2v4 coming, oh, sorry, 2v5. 3v5 three, three I'm getting at. Kenzie on the ramp doubling up and a 2v3 retake. So really nice round out of Forza. Not one they were supposed to win, especially after Zorte loses his AWP to Shalfi. So right now, Forza remaining competitive. You know, I think the veto gives them a lot of favors as well. I, I, I don't think Vitality won the veto today. Yeah, they, right. You know, they, they've picked into... Not Forza's best map, but one that they are more than comfortable playing, one that they have more than enough experience on. And and Dust2 and Mirage CIS team's going to be no complaints. However, we've definitely seen Vitality you know, try and make uh, Mirage a staple of their map pool. If it gets to three, I'd say they're more than favored. But right now, Forza putting up a fight. Shalfi being loud underneath. Kenzie firing smokes, trying to stop them getting B. But they ooh, just about make it one health on Majisk, he might want to give that gun over. But he's with Zai Wu, unarmored. So it's not exactly a great trade if he does. Yeah, but would you rather aim punch or just instant death? I mean, those, <laughs> those are your options, right? Oh, oh the, uh, there it is. Oh, few. luckily enough, in the corner. he's just tucked himself in and the nade clips behind the box there. Or oh, cylinder, not a box. Just now throwing up and over. Goes to clear the stairs, but Shafi finds himself in the vents instead. It's a quick reposition. That nades kind of sold them on the false idea. He's on the staircase. They look like they wanted to maybe boost again here with this AK. So Zaiwu crouching down. That is the oh, call. Perfect. However, Magisk, low as mentioned, is now dead. He pre found over on the ramp side. The Danes what? are removed from play, and the Frenchman will follow. It's only Zaiwu left standing. Opens the door, but they have the bomb. They're not fooled. They're not fooling for it. Jerry goes back and cleans him up, and Forza go 5 1. Very good start to the CT side. We haven't even had to see the auto sniper, but uh, I, I hope we do. I just hope we do. I want to see how Vitality respond when it's in play. A rushes could certainly be the answer. Do Vitality have set pieces out of spawn for this top site, though, right now, right? They've picked this map. They know they were coming into the T side. They better have something sick prepared because right now, these slow defaulting outside rounds aren't working, and ramp seems to be constantly set up with two players for Forza. That leaves one gap. Vitality, though, back to lobby. Bit of defaulting outside. Apex dead on silo again, and just escaping from Zorty's orb. He's quick, but not quick enough. However, again, this is the Zorty show all over. He fires a shot, he immediately changes his position. He's always so hard to guess. Back to ramp already with three CTs here. Someone needs to move. That's just simply too many. So Vitality kind of cooled off in the lobby with not a lot to do. Might just bung out the A site. Yeah, I mean, dude, fours in moments like this get really annoying to play against. They get super mobile at times, right? Like, even even now you're kind of seeing it. Like, Kenzie's constantly shifting his position around the map. Shalfi as well has now just decided to hold this angle over towards health to lend a bit of a helping hand outside if needed, and it will be needed. So in the right place at the right time. But it just feels like, you know, Apex and Dupree have both died. What have you got out of it? Nothing. All the info is now null and void. You don't know where these players are. Uh oh. Really gained much. Jerry will get mollied out. Swings with it, sits in it. And Masuta finds him. Now there's a double up in the back of the site. If one of these players swings early, maybe a bit of a bait and switch could be employed. Right now, they're hoping that Magisk can be their saving oh grace. My. The man to make it all happen up into heaven. Oh, Zorty is going to check for him. And Magisk is now gone. They waited for the heaven wrap. They thought he could be the angel. 
to dispel the sins of this round, but that's not the case. Zai Wu tap on the bomb, 10 seconds, and he spammed out. Lovely check for Zori. Wow. The awareness to swing it wide like that, yeah. just in case Magic had hit the timing. It wins the round. It saves the day. If that Heaven Wrap comes through unchecked and he hits that timing, Vitality win the round. There's very little that Fours would have been able to do. Yeah, great awareness. And it all comes off with that, that kill onto Jerry, right? Just gives full info. At that point, Fours know it's an A split. They're wondering where the outside player's gotten to. They saw the smokes go out earlier. It was meant to be main, but Magic's got so much room. He just took the chance, and it was should have been a good chance. But great check for Zorty. Again, wide smokes. They go quickly with them. Fours are trying to stop this. They throw a lot of onus on fighting this one. Flash to go through. It's beautiful for Shalfi. Can he do it? Yeah. Yes, three, oh! four, and he's almost off for the ace. Apex shuts him down from above, but that is one way to get rid of the outside cross. No respect for Forza through the smoke, and Norvi will close in the same fashion. They are pumping full of confidence, full of adrenaline, full of Jerry. Mate, yeah, no, this is so clean, isn't it? And, and they play like they play like they have the confidence and like the establishment of, of a top team. Like they've just always been here. Like, oh yeah, fours were always destined to uh, to three and zero. Oh well, that's the best part about bringing young guns in their first major in a two zero game. There's no pressure. They're meant to lose this. It's vitality. You're major winners. You got some of the best players to ever grace this game. You got the best coach of all time in Counter Strike. You're meant to lose this game. No one expects you to win it. So pressure's off. Play free. Play crazy. Yeah. Don't respect their setups. Don't respect their smokes. And Forza are doing everything they can right now to just keep Vitality down. Yeah, something else I'll say about Jerry is in terms of like fundamentals, in terms of looking at like the, the micro and macro of Counter-Strike, you know, thesis, I guess, or something like that, some words that I affect. He's just so knowledgeable. And yeah. anytime you try to run some sort of set strat, he's gonna have a couple of ways to try and counter it, right? So Vitality, you know, you're kind of tempted into just looking for these opening fights, but dude, like, look at this. So he's pushed all the way through ramp, all the way into the lobby. And he's now holding, and Vitality, they've like pretty much given this up. They don't have anyone here. So as they try to go back in to even get set up to take what is normally free real estate, they're dead, and that's the bomb tumbling out from Zai Wu. They wanted to hit A, they can't do that now. Jerry's coming to them though. He does feed the default. Ooh, Warbang's very close, watch out. There's two players in here, Zorty. Even if he dies or runs away, it's a perfect fake sold for Kenzie. But he has the bomb. He's going to give it a go. Try and hold on to it. There it is. Smoke. Okay. Really selling Kenzie's position now. Vitality smoke it off. They don't like what they see on the other side. Kenzie waiting around. Does he want to go through? That would be ballsy. That would be mental. And so he will not. Vitality go back on roof. They want this A hit, right? It was what they wanted from the get-go. Checking their backs, getting the bomb. Kenzie firing off. They will walk late ramp. He's got a third smoke coming through. They're going to disrespect it themselves. Right, they run. Kenzie gets one, but it's a trade for Dupree. If he commits, he might get caught before he drops. Shalfie's here. Dupree spots him. He does live to tell the tale. A path to be opened up. Vitality take it. That's what he's already down here. Going to have a timing to take one shot out of decon, but he can't make it count. Closes the door, hoping he can do it again. Dupree crossing into the site. It's a double doors plant, so we need to try and take that control. Vitality fighting for real estate down here at B, and they do manage to get the control room under lock and key. Oh. Apex oh. dead on the swing. Zort, he's convincing with this all. And in with a double now. Dupree and Magis gets the two Danes left up in this one. Bombs ticking away. They're trying to play a timing game. Dupree's wrapping, and they were holding for this, okay. but they just let go of the angle. Dupree could be in pole position. Magisk is drawing attention away. It's only making Dupree more dangerous, and there he is with the backstab, doubling nice. down. The Danes get it over the line. Yeah, that's what you want. Clutch potential for Magisk and Dupree. Uh, perfect patience for Magisk to just hold off. He takes one shot. He disappears into the mist, and they're so attentive to his position. They never even try to work out where that last man was. Very nice try for Forza, keeping it competitive the entire round, but it's the clutcher, it's the backstab to get it done. Seven to two, Vitality trying to warm in off of that one round. 
dumping Util and A. Zorty's back to his Red Cross, back on his BS, but not today. Zywoo expects it. Even on top of the garage, Apex, he's died enough on Silo. He was ready for top garage for Shalfi, who will fall off and live. Coming up secret is Kenzie. Swapping with Jerry down lower, but right now Zyro's a dead man. Peek and a kill. Easy as that. Flash doesn't even work. Doesn't need to. Vitality, oh, you found hello. the gap at ramp, though. Again. Yeah, you know, we talk about the mobility of fours. Well, this does kind of come with a few drawbacks, right? Occasionally, there might be gaps like this, especially when you lose a man early. Oh, and so as Kenzie goes back into the ramp room, he's going to have missed this timing on the hell players. They just about evade him. And he's not considering it at all. Shalfi's going to get shot in the side of the head by Masuta. And Dupree now emerges out of the heavens. They had no idea. It's a two on four turn, two on three, thanks to Kenzie's A1S. You can't drop this if you're Vitality. You have to win it. Your positions are better. You have the A side, oh but sneaking in through main is Jerry. It's suddenly a two on two. Low players. Dupree's out on an <gasps> island. Jerry wins that fight somehow. Dupree knew he was coming, and Apex can go down the vent. It might be the only way to catch him off guard. It's silent. They haven't heard it. They will be able to group up on the ramp for the retake, but Apex full nades and full timing to get this stick in. Open if he wants it. Doesn't take that risk. Jerry's going to run back towards the ramp side. Bomb is down. Util is thrown. And position is known. It's got to be vintage from Apex, man. It's all on him. All eyes are on the man at the helm of Vitality. Trying to win this 1v2. Bomb is not planted for him. With a player out decon, that's going to be rough. Kenzie's got a kit. So as they move in... They're looking at the bomb. They're trying to piece this together. They're saying, he's not decon. Where could he be? Oh, and Jerry just Jerry. runs at him. Double you held. And the kill is found. Fours deny the clutch attempt. 2v4. 2v4. And Vitality have Heaven and a site. They got so paranoid there was another anchor, right? Dupree comes up on Heaven. As Shalfi dies outside, Norway gets hit, uh, hit from Heaven when he's looking hot on the rafters. It was that awkward timing Kenzie misses. But boy, he makes up for it. Him and Jerry clutch out a round against Vitality again. And Forza bite back. The B conversion last time immediately denied. And Forza even called a tactical timeout trying to figure out that gap. I'm sure they know. I mean, Kenzie was uh, late down B with Jerry for a moment. And that's when Vitality hit that beautiful timing out ramp. But dear, oh dear. They're getting their work cut out for them right now on Nuke. Zorty's still keeping it very standard with the orb. But he's made a couple of red crosses. He's finally been punished by Zaiwu. He's not really had many orbs. Another buy for Vitality. What have they figured out in the timeout that Forza called? Quick hell smoke. Another outtake, it seems. Oh, dude, there were so many chances on that timing shot, but outside smokes have a big old oh, gap there, good. and Shalfi's going to be good to double up from it. Zaiwu goes fighting ahead through the gap. And the outside smokes, and he does. Succeed with a second. Norvi on the receiving end of that one. Bomb's now crossed its way into garage, but is that a blessing or a curse? Right now, Zywoo's stuck on a bit of an island, and they don't really have the util to bail him out. They're kind of relying on Fours easing off of this outside aggro. Luckily enough, he's been given the space to get out of garage. Zorty going aggressive into the lobby. Dupree is here, waiting patiently. This is a very good response. You know that Fours like to take space. They've gone silent out, so they're going to be pushing somewhere. Oh. And Dupree walks to his death. Now just Zaiwu and Apex. Who are the vintage Vitality names? Oh, yeah, walk that smoke. Gap. No way! Zorty again shoots smokes and finds players. You can't spam your tracers. He sees every single bullet. Zaiwu, 1v3. Kenzie's on an off angle, but still Zaiwu eviscerates him. Down to the B-bomb site. They're going to have a quick vent drop. They know it's coming. He's not being quiet about it. Plant is not allowed. He has to fake it. Zorty will swing that door. There's the tap. Zorty, very close. There's a ball for it, but there's the no-scope to close the round. It's the AWP to take down Zaiwu. Three kills from Zorty, and they keep it up. I want to talk really quickly about those smokes. Those are not bungled smokes from outside, mm. from Vitality. They've left that gap before. They keep doing it. 
looped across towards Secret, but Forza saw it last time, right? You saw the, the smoke and health Vitality. That's like the replacement to doing that third smoke at red. It allows Vitality, if they don't want to go Secret, they can cross outside. They can go towards Garage and split main. But Forza knew it was coming from the smokes towards hell. So they play on top of the AC unit and have a perfect angle to catch those kills on the cross. And now look at Shelfie taking liberties. All right. Two of them here. And finally... Okay. Well, I say fine. You know, second know. time around now that this little cross has been punished. Dupree also going to open up over at ramp. Fours, they, they, they try to uh, give a bit of aggro the way of Vitality here. But they've come oh, up wanting. No. Norvi continuing his path of aggro outside has at least reclaimed one of these kills. It might be a four on three, but what have man advantages meant to Vitality? Not a hell of a lot in this game so far. It's not over till it's over versus this Fours squad. Zorty now back outside, very confident in the approach, knife out the whole way. Starts to focus his attention in on the door. Only he'd given outside a little look in, could have got this info. Jerry still in main, but with his back turned. They're going to get down secret for free. Vitality. No one's seen this. Vitality keep doing this. Keep <gasps> that's, no, the that's the bomb. Oh, it, it, it's just on the outside. It's on the lip. Do they know that Masuta already made it? There's more than one man here. Jerry goes back to wait for a late lurk. That's not the case. So I woo. He wanted to fight, but they just got the free bomb. They'll take it. Yeah, back look, to at the, B, look at the double lower Norway, drop. Who's re aggressive. He might catch them by surprise. He's dead, but they're not ready for Zorti. I can assure you of that one. Quick shot. 20 seconds. I was being flanked. He hits a pre fire, but here's the man behind Jerry, the man at the helm of Forza. Can't stop this plant. Dupree's down ramp here to cover. Hopes the spam can find it, but it can't. Zywoo is safe. Oh! Jerry's been seen. Dupree hunting him down. Jerry flicking back and forth, and Dupree will be the Ooh. man to seal the deal. Him and Zywoo get that one over the line. Dude, there was like a millisecond window where Jerry's coming in on that flank, and he could have dropped the bomb. Misses that timing by a second, and they're able to find the round. That's how it all starts <laughs> as well. One chance, Deke shot. You take it. All that it takes. Nice pre-fire as well onto the orb from Zywoo. Like he, if he doesn't win that fight there, the round's over. Either to Zorty or the flanks, like you say. Vitality's done that a couple of times. It's working really well, right? Because of Forza's very mobile CT side, if Vitality peel back from outside and then they recommit, Forza are never ready for it. Quick A push, but in a four-man stack here, the Deagles can do it. You never know. Pistols bite back for a moment, but Masuta returns us from the madness and makes this three-on-one. Kenzie runs the molly and they're nowhere to be seen, right? Below him are two, and they close with four. Vitality, they can still get a six-round half. That's something to be happy with, given how this game started, and they're starting to find the gaps in the armor for Forza. The room outside, finally an A-rush, we're waiting all half. They won't do that again on a gun round, but nice to see them test that top sight. And Masuta, he's been a guy who we've, you know, relied on for Vitality in these recent games in the RMR, in the Major as well. Like, when he pops off, Vitality have a way easier time of things. Yesterday against Astralis, for example. So hopefully he can warm back in with that little double kill on A. It's another eco for Forza, and so Vitality have all the room in the world. Main and Hellstorm, so looking to maybe make this Heaven Cross happen. Uh, taking real estate outside, ready to main split at the drop of a hat. This is a uh, you know, borderline overkill up against these pistols, but they're just doing everything they can to safeguard the round. Shouldn't ever get out of hand, and so it won't. Zai Wu pretty much solidifying that with his double, and it is just Shalfi left standing. He's been back in CT the whole oh. damn time until oh. Apex sprays him there. So it's Vitality with a fifth. Yeah, in this, with that chance of a six nine half, as you say. This is the fear that they're going to wake up. They're going to they're going to warm into this game and Forza maybe get ahead of themselves and think, ah, oh, guys, we're wrecking them. They're bad. You know, we we have got it. No, right? Like, Vitality. yeah, yeah. I mean, I I do still think as well that like half the rounds they have right now have come on the back of like weak money essentially for the uh, the Forza squad, right? Breaking apart the Force buy and the A play, besting the USPs there. That's like two little freebie rounds on the five that they've got. Yeah. <clears throat> So, you know, it, it's still not out of the woods just yet for Vitality. Definitely a vibe that there's still a chance for Force to just get back on in, in control of this, you know, reassert dominance again. 
you keep telling yourself, right? Regardless of how you paint it, it's still a very nice CT site for Forza in this first map. A BO3, remember, to qualify for that legend stage. To meet some of the teams that have already made it that far just through the RMRs. Fast flashes outside. They're going to try and cross. Shalfi gets behind Garage, and so he can stop a main split, but they smoke him off immediately. Apex runs a Molotov. That gets heard from the A site, but they're going all the way through. Full send through Garage. Apex oh, he's almost checking a flicks back. If Shalfi peaked early, he would have seen Apex emerging through the smoke. Spam from main puts him low, and don't shoot through smokes. You've already seen what happens when you do that, Vitality. Four on four. But Vitality make it lower, and again, Dupree on the ramp plug. This is what has yeah. been winning rounds. This was the winning recipe to, to win their D ground, right? Dupree out ramp, the rest of the gang heading lower. And Dupree's oh, in perfect. such a strong position yeah. here, right? Only has one chance at a kill. I like to think oh. it's as good as done. It's a dink either way, and the AK wins those. Now falls a man down. They've lost lower, they've got no information, they don't have ramp, everyone's having a group and come through secret together. It's a good flank timing because I always gone back and they're running amok as well. Smoke puts them in one corridor only. Econ, Majisk is there, line up for three. All headshots for Majisk. And there it is, right at the end of the half, we have Vitality's resurgence with six. It's not perfect, but it will do. It is the bare minimum here on Nuke right now. That being said, it's still a fantastic game out of Forza at the moment. Zorty's Orp is popping off. Jerry's having rounds. Lots, lots of 3v5s, 2v4s have come through already in this game for Forza. Jerry, of course, we're hyping him up a lot. This is the guy at the helm. This is the in-game leader for Fours. He's going to have to cook up some nice T-side rounds now to try and keep this streak going and steal Vitality's map pick. Had something there for Vitality as well, just like kind of residual leaking through. Yeah. Bit of a motivational speech heading into that second half by the sound of things. They said, we might make mistakes, but we keep on going. Yeah. And uh, they've been able to uh, to write their course thus far, right? Might have been this really slow start, but now they've got something to build upon. This is now we kind of flip it back the other way. We say for Jerry, this is like a real test, right? You've got to try and outcall Vitality Whoa. who are building back in. Over Whoa. and round. Magisk with the dollies. Three right now. But why stop there? He goes for more and will get churned up still. It's a 1v5 turned 1v4 clutch. And it's going nowhere fast. Vitality going to win that pistol. And they owe it all to a pair of dual Barrettes. Yeah, usually the hot roof, right? Close ramp, what a read, what a setup. And the just just balls them. You see Norway running in backwards. He's trying to make his head hard to hit, going full S attack, jumping around corners. But the just finds it, farms it, and puts up a pistol for Vitality. Now this gap is closing very quickly. Uh, there's only an eco here for Forza, so should certainly be an eighth. Quick out the door, get it done, get it, run over. Did the bomb make it? Yes, down the vent. But Masut is here to stop the plant, and he won't allow it, not on his watch. Kenzie trying to walk out hard. It's not happening. There's always one. Eight rounds to Vitality, and here's the buy for Forza. Side smokes from the get-go. Are they going to set the precedent of crossing with them? I hope so, and that will be the case, right? They send bodies outside. Always like it where from the get-go, you, you show the usage of these outside smokes, right? To try and make them paranoid. Oh, Zai Wu, last Yikes. bullet in the gun. And Norvi just catches it. Jerry's dead as well, trying to cross, trying to go deep. And so they do get players down behind the smokes, but at what cost? Two dead outside, one man oh, at ramp. Shelfy is going to catch Apex as he pulls nades. Now there's one more man down in this B bomb site. It's Masuta. Mm. This guy can be like a bit of a turret at times. It's not a nice role. No one wants to be here, but he's got to make the best out of this situation. Back into a corner. He's checked by Shelfy, who comes out from ramp. The victor with two kills to his name. Evening the playing field in this one and leaving us in a three on three as that bomb goes down. Oh, he didn't jump to spot, but he would have seen two players coming in secret side. So he has to fight 
ramp, but they double face the door and they delete them both. Dupree, I don't know where he was going. He went for the gun in hell. He had an MP9. And so that's just put him completely out of position. Couldn't help his team down on B in time. They get wrecked and it's going to be Forza converting this 10th round. Dupree can get an AK, but that's going to be it. That's going to be 10. And this is quite the battle already emerging in the T side as well. They don't wait long to get on the board. Sadly, didn't get to see that auto sniper, but I'm glad that Zorti is putting up quite a fight on the AWP, and he hasn't even brought in the T-side AWP yet. Zayu had it, I think, once, and he got one pick on Zorti pushing up outside, and that was it. Money was never really there for Vitality, and when it was towards the end, they just uh, had some nice uh, top splits and secret takes. Didn't really need that big green. All right, Apex. All right, this is one way to get the info as to what's happening outside with the smokes down. Tries to play ahead of it, tries to play aggressive. They invite him to the party. He's going to piece on out of there. Outside smokes now lobbed over. Flashes to try and get them by. They've crossed with oh, three down towards secret. Norvi admittedly just a collection of limbs at this point, but in he comes. <laughs> Magisk gets the spot. The players are down. They're moving in. Masuta oh, is here. Deal with the bomb and doubles up. Can't quite make it a third. What? And in the blink of an what? eye, this round's flipped on ahead. Oh dear. Zywu and Apex, they're both at ramp. They're both in the right place at least, but now they've both been spotted. <gasps> Rapping. Hello. Apex is going quick. So or Kenzie isn't ready for it, rather. And now Jerry trying to trade this will what? get the better of his IGL counterpart on the other side. And it's all left onto Zywu, who it's tries to remain one step ahead. Oh, it's a read. He's already walking up. If only he ran it. He still has good timing. The expected rotation would be heaven. That's what they're looking at. That's what they're thinking about. But he's gone lobby instead. Shalfi checked out the door, but not anymore. Zaiwu still has timing. Jerry's gone back. Oh dear, reads on reads, and Jerry's been cornered. Oh, he's stuck. He can't go anywhere. Zaiwu wins the fight, and he has enough nades to get weird, but Shalfi swings in, and even though Zaiwu waits patiently, he will be picked apart. It's another round for fours. It's a three on five into that A site. I love that hunt from Apex. They just keep throwing bodies at fours, but somehow, in an instant, three kills came in. Dude, yeah, that is wild. Like, that, that just shouldn't... I don't know. Like, so much happened in a millisecond. There's no way to capture it. There's no way to show what just went down. But, like, the lobby crunch got dealt with. The guys at B that were these early rotates into a stacked B bomb site got churned up. Back to the drawing board now for Vitality. They're out of money. Also, you might be wondering, like, well, how did they know Zywoo was coming from there? Actually, it's kind of cool, like, with the with the Heaven, uh, you know, like, with with them rotating up through the vent and Heaven never having a peak come in early, they just poise for lobby. They go, well, he's not vent, that's where we came from. You know, we've checked out Heaven, we can watch this from the heart. Let's just double up and play around the idea he's lobby bound. And so they play that trade game, they play the 2v1 perfectly. Playing outside against Pistol is going to give Vitality very little options. They don't have any B rotates right now. Finally, Masuta moves in off of the ramp, but unless you're going to catch Vitality uh, fours in these hallways of secret, you're not going to do much, and it's never going to be B anyway. They're faking out the secret cross, they're doubling back. They've got Shelby waiting in lobby, and they can take all the space in the world outside. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You know, coming into the second half, I said, I like we heard Vitality saying, yeah, we might make mistakes, but we soldier on. Four said, guys, we, we don't make mistakes. <laughs> oh, look, wrapping in towards heaven and hell. They've split Masuta out on an island, and all these pistols are churned up. It's not going to get weird. It's not going to get wild, even though Apex tries his best to make that happen. Four's find the conversion, 12 to 8. And they've got Vitality right where they want them. The longer you can keep this streak up, needless to say, the better, but... Especially when it's this CT side, man. The money can feel so punishing. 
really can. And the idea that all these rounds are hitting almost like a two for one right now for fours is very quickly accelerating them towards the finish line on Vitality's map pick. Now it's Eorp, and there it is, delivering the goods. Not what Apex wanted nor needed. Picked immediately to cross outside. Just hit some tags. Zaiwu capitalizing, but only good for one. And when you're trading one for one on Zaiwu, you're doing a damn good job. As Fours were able to do in that 2v1 in lobby. Shalfi doing his best to do pre-impression. Majisk is not ready, and it's a freebie. 50 damage, Shalfi gets in and out all the way up to heaven. It's an A split right now. Dupree knows it's coming, but he's got to put on one hell of a show. Flash comes in, he's so blind. Nowhere to move, nowhere to hide. And a three on one to get a 13th round here. It's only Masuta with no kit. That's so what he's holding the angle. Now, if he misses the shot, no, he doesn't miss anything, does he? There's Fours in with the round and dude, like, even that little kind of like four-man group up into the A play where Dupree is there, I think for lesser experienced teams, for teams that get e easily kind of scared or worried, that could have gone so wrong. You had so many low yeah. players, your one guy with health was a little far out right over towards the door, but he lobs that flash in in like what was really just a split second slowdown. Everyone just kind of stopped moving for two seconds and they let that flash come in to wreck Dupree. They don't feel the pressure of, we need to trade that, we need to trade yeah. that guy in the site, we got to get the bomb down. No, it's still very measured. They don't get ahead of themselves. They've also got the heaven player in as well, but I, you know, I agree with you. I was sitting there thinking, God, Dupree's going to win this whole round because that lower player tries to trade, they're dead. Every player Dupree knows he's coming. So many ways that round could go wrong, but fours are the split second decision to chill and to wait on the util. They believe in the Jerry system. You kind of have to, right? This guy is like the, the Russian Tabson. He can speak English perfectly. He could have gone to many European teams, mixes of nationalities, but for five plus years, he's been here in fours, building roster after roster, pulling star after star while they you know, go on to greener pastures, flit to outsiders, players that we know and love. And Jerry, well, he somehow stayed here. Even in the major, even in the 2-0 spot. Nice shot. Magis goes back for more. Wants to double dip, and he'll take okay, two. Okay, Magis. All right, now it's a little more interesting. You know, they do trade him, but it's a quite the cost. These are only deagles, and you've got low HP on shelf. You're feeling pretty limited at this point in time. Outside control was taken, but they don't want to commit. That's almost a lineup. That was a collateral out of Apex's deagle. If only it was a pixel or two higher. That could have been unreal. Instead, three on three. Oh. Dupree, there's the 5-7, and he's going to mow them all down with it. Pocket rocket for Dupree as he locks that round in for Vitality. Woo! That was clean as can be. Up the vent and just mauls the man. That gun is very good right now. And Dupree shows us how to do it. What a recovery. What a round to win for Vitality. May not feel like a lot in the moment, but that can pump you up. That can shut down the momentum. Four rounds in a row for fours broken ever since they got their first T-side buy. And finally, Vitality have cracked that nut. They just have to chow down. Still a long road to recovery, but we heard those motivational speech, uh, speeches. We see Zonic clapping behind the folks. Their heads aren't out of it yet. Fours have got to dig deeper still because their money's on the line now. Jerry's on a tech. Zorty's still got his big green. And over on the B stream, Renegades are mapped down to IHC facing 0-3 elimination. Bunch of pickums on the line on that one. All right, Apex. Still key. Into the vent. No knife out just yet. But he's ready for a drop. Sit out. Dupree's got a great angle here. There's no win in that one if you're on the team. Whoa, Apex. It's scary, man, as that spam's getting traded on the door. He's already had one unfortunate timing over towards main. Doesn't want to make it another. Now, tucked in here, deep at ramp, is Masuta. Not going to offer himself up to the AWP, and he's even called for a bit of a helping hand out of the AWP of his own. Zai Wu now set up 
over at hell, allowing for this rotate between there and heaven. He's able to help on either side in the blink of an eye. They made so much noise in A and in lobby this round. The Vitality is so scared. They're not even playing outside. So I was watching like the cross to secret, but fours are regrouping for a main split right now. Oh my. Oh my, Jerry. Throws caution to the wind. Knows he's got Apex trapped. Oh. Now Masuta's hit this timing. It's a no very idea. awkward one. They don't know that he's here. This could be the round winner. Line up. And Norvi's going to trade it after one. Now Zaiwu, we talked about him earlier, set up in hell. He's meant to be able to watch ramp, meant to be able to get this under control, what? but a missed shot, and they slip on by. They get down no. lower. Magisk is already here, dropping the bomb out on the ramp side. Time is running out, and Magisk still putting up numbers, refusing to let up, in with another. It's only Shalfi left standing here, and there simply isn't time. He's out of the round, and Vitality are up onto double digits. Wonderful play there for Majesk. He just runs at them, relentless. Knows that dropping the right man, the right moment can win you the round. And so he does exactly that. Oh, the Danes have done so much today, right? Yesterday it was the Frenchies who were putting up quite a show, but Dupree and Majesk have won so many rounds in this game for Vitality. All these like little 2VXs that have come through have had at least one of them alive, if not both. Dupree with his ramp lurks and the T-side were good. Majesk now winning another the round and fours only on this saved AK. There's still hope for Vitality yet, even with a couple of missed shots here and there. Masuta spams out that AK, no armor, just anyone can grab it, nor V will. But this is not a round that should be of much interest for fours. Like they even have the nades to run anything. One smoke on Kenzie can lob it wherever he deems appropriate. But what angle will Zaiwu mangle around it? Got that orb out. It's a good smoke. But again, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of cover to secret. I, yeah, I think your best bet is maybe to just try and run down the main guy on the back of this smoke fading. Going any wider than that, you're in the firing line of this orb. Or oh, is he firing lines or firing blanks? Nope, that one's a bullet. Right to Kenzie. Zaiwu, he hits his flick on the run boost. Oh, oh, yeah, not even hard. Plenty of warning and easy enough. Zaiwu on for all four in the yard. It's just done. No chance on the eco. 11 rounds to Vitality and back to the bye for fours. Yeah, it's close now, right? It is. Vitality are kind of nipping at their heels, bringing this one more and more into their favor as time ticks on. Now, this is where for fours, right, having this kind of young, hungry squad, it's going to be a big test to see if you can keep the nerves in check. Hasn't been a problem yet, but fours have been winning. It's easy to be riding the high. Can you power through the lows? That's what Vitality had to do right off the top, and they're still able to even manage it now. Fours coming in with this investment. Going to be limited still, right, with Shalfi saving. His AK into this round. But that's the only limitation you've got. Other than that, everything you'd need. I don't have this AWP in play either. So maybe a bit of a faster round. I want to see if they're trying to, if they're doing a faster round, if they're trying to abuse Apex in main, because he has been a bit of a liability at times. He got picked by Zorty's AWP on the CT side. He, he was looking into the wall when they rushed out door before. He's the bottom player for the team. That could be a gap in. Four fours. They're going to drop on him instead, but he sees it coming and gets immediately behind cover. Oh, Apex fighting, but he can't win it. Norway converts the spray, but just really wanted to get involved, but they crept down the vent. Does he even know there's three silent vent sneakers? Dude, that's wild. And even though like, Masuta dropped earlier on the back of that smoke, he's playing right into their hands. Oh, Kenzie, that one's free. Next one might cost him, but still the B play is set up. There should shouldn't be, be any winning this for Vitality. No. They don't even know they're down lower yet. And now they hear that door swing. Uh -oh. Reality starts to set in. Chill. Maybe that kill, maybe that kill entices them. Maybe that kill gives them a reason to go for it. Kenzie's oh. gonna cancel it out as quick as he's appeared. He is gone, disappearing from the secret side. And that's a done deal. Fours are up onto 14. I love that round. They draw so much attention out of Apex by sending Norvi on that main drop, right? And you know, he doesn't even need to get that kill. He just needs to get Apex out of the door. The second he gets the kill, fours go, yep, all right. 
Event is free. There's no one to stop us. I'm going to sneak down and a free round comes out. You even saw Apex, or sorry, Magis look at the door like maybe they could be down there. I don't know. I've heard nothing. I just see a smoke and you never know whether it's a commit or not. The balls to triple walk down there are incredible. What a call for fours. And that was all planned from the get-go. The master man, Jerry, putting on a 14th and putting on a show on Vitality's map pick. Dude, if he does, you know, if Fours do manage to close this out, I think that's a pretty big deal for someone like Jerry because the reason why, you know, they were always on the cusp of greatness, but they always felt more like an upset team with old rosters was they could take, you know, top teams the distance. They could make it real close, but they would sometimes struggle getting those games actually over the yeah. line. And that was especially prevalent oh. versus like your Na'Vi's. What? Jerry! Mid-air! That's not how it's meant to happen! And now with a bit of luck going his way, why stop there, right? He's got it all. Luck, skill. I don't know. What Luck's else do you need? Luck's kill. Yeah. My goodness. And I mean, now five on four. Couldn't have asked for a better start, really. Ooh. Ooh. A tag from Dupree. Balls are grouping for one of these A splits by the looks of things. Although you're never assured in that with the triple vent sneak last Ooh. round. Oh, he might be very blind, but he still gets into secret. The position that matters, not the eyeballs, Dupree. Looking for lobby kills. Kenzie's found Magis to the other day. It's got to step up and he will double down. That's the bomb dropped in the door. Trying to close it on fours in this round. They've got to come up in. Vent, main, hut. These are the positions they've got. It's all they got to work with. And it's not pretty. Norvi especially is in a rough spot right now. They, they're going to try and vent drop maybe. That's what it feels like. They're going to have to. That's really their only route back into this, is event drop. Instead, Norby's come up. He's joined for the A fight. They're actually committing into this. A double sight hold. Two players here. Norby's got to deal with them both alone. <laughs> and he's seen them. He's seen them running away. No, Still dead to no. Dupree. Doesn't matter. It's all on Jerry Winnable. now. One versus three. He started the round off with a hop, skip, and a jump. And he hears them what? rotating away. He thinks they went. They think he went down lower. It was the only play that was available. But now it dawns on them. He outbrained them, he got past them, and now he's got a man stuck on the vent. Dupree's baiting. This is all to draw his attention in. Now he tries it. Now Heaven is the next point of contact. No. Runs the molly. Fights no. Saiwu. He's gone. He's reappeared. He's like a ghost oh. in the sight, and Dupree will get rid of him. It's a damn good try for Jerry. The man at the helm of fours tried to put 15 on the board, but it snatched away in the 3v1. Oh my god, these rounds are a roller coaster right now. They're terrifying. How do Vitality keep that one together? I can't even blame them for that panic drop down B. That seemed like the obvious play. That seemed like the only play. There were so many ways fours could have won that. And that backside player even kills one. You know, if Jerry actually peeks Dupree when he mollies him out behind Vent with 20 health, but there was a bit of fear for fours. And will let them down vitality they don't overplay their hand in the three on one they wait for the group and all three of them come right at jerry a very nice try in the clutch but this game's not done harry fours haven't closed it yet again those problems against the top those problems against a tier one rear their head again I do like how fours are just all signed up with some of the madness, some of the calls that keep coming through, no matter, you know, how crazy they are. There's no AWP in this one. So he's got his definitely woken up in the latter stage of this game. He was four and 10 to start. Yeah, I mean, I, that's kind of even interesting to think about. The, like, for Vitality, their biggest problem has been meshing together these two very conflicting styles of Counter-Strike, right? Whereas for Fours, keep saying how everyone's bought into Jerry's system. It is the Jerry system, right? And everyone subscribes to it. Shalfi? Shalfi's got this, Hello? mate. There's no... Uh, there's, other way, uh, other way, uh, other way, uh, Shalfi. Uh, oh, no. He won't know. Oh, he won't no. His team think it's clear. It's not. <gasps> now they see Zaiwu. Oh. And Shalfi realizes he's missed it. But now he's back in position. Oh, Zaiwu's going to get it. Not meant to win that one. I will, but he can't get any more. Turning back, Zoi's gonna find him. And they're down lower. They're in the back line. Vitality. The barbarians are here. They're knocking on the door. Masuta's gotta hold the line. He's the only guy down lower. How the hell does Zaiwu even get one? I couldn't tell you. 
A retake is certainly possible, but there's a ramp plug. Dupree's ready for it. It's his bread and butter. Jerry dead. Norway with, with a plant. Apex on the late secret lurk. And he needs Majisk to come down that vent. He's got a clear position for him. Roll out the carpet. The red carpet made of blood. His blood. Norway comes back in the doorway and takes out the in-game leader. They're going to focus on ramp. Zorty's pushed up, two CTs here. If they kill Masuta, they know about Dupree. He was in the kill feed earlier on. Majisk is only now coming down the vent, but Zorty's picking these other players apart. Where's Majisk? We need him here. We need him now. He's opened the door. He's being loud. Zorty in the back of the site, dead. And the bomb plant in the open. Kenzie's got time, but does Majisk smoke on it? Fight taken. Kenzie wins and fours find 15 first. Unbelievable scenes. I think I just saw a signal there for the timeout <laughs> yeah, pause, wanting to it. compose themselves, right? What on earth was that in secret? What? How does I even get one? I know it doesn't matter, but like the timings, the, the corners missed. And he no scope shelf the invent is one job. <laughs> and they still win it with or without him. Vitality, they were poised for a retake, man. That was four on three in their favor. They got rid of the lurkers, both of them. But four set up in the site. No orb, no need. We got clutches coming through, and we got one more needed. This is the this is the easiest one. This is the best chance you're going to get. Two deagles, a famas, no kit, no orb. But is there a chance? Yeah, these rounds are kind of always like a loot, <laughs> deceptively harder than maybe they looked. Because as you say, it is the easiest round, and you know that. So let's see how wild they get with it. Do they try and go faster? Are they going to keep it pretty slow? Sharp okay. is once again trying to manipulate this vent timing. Ow. He's already gotten out. Magic has no idea. Oh, this is so, so wild inside oh, of the doors. Magisk has got nades out. He's expecting so much respect. There's no respect given. Zorty oh. with the double opener, the A-site. Blown wide open by Bomb. just one man. Oh, you're going to try and take Lobby, are you? Well, Kenzie's been here the whole damn time. Shot in the side of the head. It's all on Apex. Nothing he can do. And he's gone. Fours going to steal Nuke away. They go 1-0 up in this series. They're eyeing up a 3-0 into the legend stage. This is unbelievable. I mean, you know, we know CIS.